Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Madam the President, very briefly I would like, at the risk of repeating what the Honorable Stevenson has said, there is no way, it's impossible for anybody to enter Camp Ashraf without the active participation of the Iraqi security forces. This is one point. The second point, I would like to inform you as European representatives that the Iraqi authorities at different levels in three meetings, and I have documents, they asked me and asked UNAMI to whitewash the Iraqi army from the previous attacks. I did the fact findings for the attack in 2009, and I also led the fact finding mission for the attack on April 2011. The same pattern keeps repeating itself. They do it, they deny it, later on they try to find an excuse for it. In 2011, Mr. Chairperson, you are very aware that Falah Fayyad, the National Security Advisor, I visited him on Friday, the 8th of April, in the morning, asked him to give the orders to stop immediately the attack. He, like in, on 1st of September, he denied that anything is happening in Ashraf. And I, was, I had information in my hand that already, early in the morning on Friday, 17 people are already dead. I asked him to authorize me to go to Ashraf, and he refused. Only on the 13th of April, I managed to get into Ashraf to find 28 bodies laying inside the camp. Others were out in hospitals. Now, on the 1st of September, it's the, exactly the same pattern. They said, we don't know what happened. And we know very well it's a lie. And for the Iraqi authorities at different levels to ask to be whitewashed, they asked me to give them a letter to say that the Iraqi army has been undertaking humanitarian missions and they, the Prime Minister's office, has been very gentle and kind to the residents of Ashraf and they haven't deprived them of any humanitarian needs. This is on record. The, the note of the file would be available to anybody who is interested to look at it. Now, the same pattern with the abducted seven people, also um, uh, in, in uh, July 2009, there were 36 abducted. They were taken to different places. I personally followed them. And I found them in the green zone next to the UN compound. When I visited them in the UN, next to the UN compound, I told them, I'll visit you, I'll come back tomorrow. The next day I want to see them, they're gone. So the Prime Minister's office has its own security apparatus. They have their own secret prisons. And this is where the seven abducted Ashrafis are. If the Prime Minister's office will allow me to go back to Baghdad, I bet you I will go straight away where they are. They are in the green zone. So I would like to underline that the United, Nation, the United Nations in Baghdad, the United States Embassy in Baghdad, the EU delegation in Baghdad, they all know where the abducted people are. It's a serious cover-up at all levels, United Nations and diplomatic missions. We need to stop it. I thank you very much.